In this video, we're going to learn how to do arithmetic in binary. That is, we're going to learn how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We're going to start with addition. So there are four basic rules for binary addition. 0 plus 0 equals 0. This is a sum of 0 with a carry of 0. 0 plus 1 equals 1. This is a sum of 1 with a carry of 0. 1 plus 0 equals 1. This is also a sum of 1 with a carry of 0. And finally, 1 plus 1 equals 10. This is a sum of 0 with a carry of 1. Now if we add the decimal numbers 5 and 6, we get a sum of 1 with a carry of 1. In other words, we get a total of 11. Binary numbers work exactly the same way, except that there are only the two digits, 1 and 0. This is where the fourth basic rule comes from. So if we wanted to add the binary numbers 0, 1, 1 and 0, 0, 1, we would use the same strategy as if we were adding decimal numbers. We stack them, placing the bigger number on top. Now we start with the ones place and work our way to the left. 1 plus 1 equals 10, so we place the 0 in the ones place and carry the 1 to the tens place. 1 plus 0 equals 1, and 1 plus the carried 1 is 10, so place the 0 in the tens place and carry the 1 to the hundreds place. 0 plus 0 equals 0, and 0 plus the carried 1 is 1, so we place the 1 in the hundreds place. Now we're done, and we find that 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 0, 1 is 100. Let's double check our answer in decimal numbers. 0, 1, 1 is the decimal number 3. 0, 0, 1 is the decimal number 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, which is the binary number 100 so our work checks out. Now let's try 1111 plus 1100. 0 plus 1 is 1 in the 1's place. 0 plus 1 is 1 in the 10's place. 1 plus 1 is 0 in the 100's place with a carry of 1 to the 1000's place. 1 plus 1 is 10 plus the carried 1 gives us 11. That's a 1 in the 1000's place and a carry of 1 to the 10,000's place. So the answer comes out to 11,011, or 11011. That's all there is to binary addition. Now let's take a look at binary subtraction. There are also four basic rules for subtracting binary numbers. 0 minus 0 equals 0, 1 minus 1 equals 0, 1 minus 0 equals 1, and 10 minus 1 equals 1. Now it's important to note that in the fourth rule, we're subtracting 0 minus 1 in the 1's place, so we have to borrow 1 from the 10's place, just like in decimal number subtraction. So let's try 101 minus 011. Stack them just like you would when subtracting normally. In the 1's column, we have 1 minus 1 is 0. In the 10's column, we have 0 minus 1, so we borrow from the 100's. 10 minus 1 is 1, and in the hundreds place, we now have 0 minus 0 equals 0. The answer is 0, 1, 0. 101 is the binary number 5, and 0, 1, 1 is the binary number 3. 5 minus 3 is 2, which is the binary number 10. Again, it all works out the way it should in decimal numbers. Now let's look at a problem with repeated borrowing. 1000 minus 0001. In order to subtract this, we have to go all the way to the thousands place to borrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at subtracting this in both binary and in decimal simultaneously. We'll start with the decimal since that's more familiar. When we borrow from the thousands place, we leave a 9 in both the hundreds and the tens place. Switching over to the binary, we do the same thing but with 1's instead of 9's. Now we subtract as normal. So our binary answer is 111. And the decimal answer is 999. When repeated borrowing is involved in binary subtraction, drop a 1 at each 0 you pass over, just like you would drop a 9 at every 0 you pass over in decimal subtraction. That does it for subtraction, so let's move on to multiplication. Multiplication also has four rules. Here are the four rules for multiplying bits. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 
1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. That's the entire binary multiplication table. So multiplying binary numbers is done exactly the same as decimal multiplication. So let's multiply 111 times 101. Starting in the ones place of the bottom number, we have 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now we slide over to the tens, and don't forget to add the zero to the partial product, and get zero times one is zero, zero times one is zero, and zero times one is zero. Now add two zeros in the partial product, and multiply the hundreds place. One times one is one, one times one is one, and one times one is one. Now we add those three parts to find the final answer. One zero zero is one, one zero zero is one, 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 10, carry the 1, 1 and 0 is 1 is 10, carry the 1, and finally 1 plus 1 is 10. And so our answer is 100011. Now that's pretty easy, right? There's really no difference here with decimal multiplication. And to that point, division is exactly the same as decimal division. Just use long division. So let's do uh, 110 divided by 10. 10 goes into 11 one time. 1 times 10 is 10. 11 minus 10 is 1. Drop the 0. 10 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. And we're done. 110 divided by 10 is 11. So that's it for binary arithmetic. It really isn't all that hard because it is so similar to decimal arithmetic. However, in the next video, we're going to get into a little weirdness with binary numbers called complements. And these operations will become vital as they allow digital circuits to do all this arithmetic, including negative numbers. So see you next time.